Okay, uh, just for the, while I've got it open, I'll show a quick video of how it actually records. It might be hard to see, it's a bit hard to focus, I'm just using my phone because I don't have a full camera. Uh, so, this is the best I can do. But uh, yeah, that little head you see on top there, which is that part right here, okay, that'll actually drop down onto the disc. So, I'll just hit record. And now it's gone onto the disc. Okay, I haven't got any source to record at the moment, so it's not even spinning the disc, which is pretty good. So this is the only point where you actually got to watch that you don't get any dust onto the discs, because I had scratched the disc long ago with my Walkman, but I was able to isolate that section of track and actually move it to the end. So it didn't create too much of a drama, but still, if you can avoid scratching them, it's best to do so. So occasionally dust will get into them, so you do want to keep them as clean as you can. But yeah, so basically when that happens, that's a magnetic head, and the laser will heat up the disc on the other side to 180 degrees centigrade, which is called its Curie point. And at that point, the magnetic data can be changed. And yeah, and then as it spins around, this, this pulses through the magnetic signal on this side, which actually picks it up on the other side. And then as it cools down the data sets if you will and it can't be erased by regular magnets or anything like that unless it's 180 degrees. So maybe a really strong magnetic field possibly could. I have heard of that happening but it's unlikely we'll have anything that powerful at home. So yeah, it's quite an interesting little system how it does it. Uh, whereas your normal CD burner, the actual laser will do the pulsing and burning of the disc, whereas the laser in this one just remains constant with its temperature. So, and then if you press stop, you can sort of see, try and get a focus on that, the head will lift up again. So yeah, so that's interesting, it actually doesn't spin up until it's ready to record. Because I've got it apart at the moment, it's not even connected up to anything, it's just connected to the sound. So I can just do a quick test play. So yeah, quite interesting. So the only time when you're playing back, the head never ever touches, and it only comes down when it records. So and that's it, it's making actual physical contact, it rides on the disc. And uh, the laser itself, same as any CD player, it never actually touches, just focuses on it. So yeah. Yeah, quite, quite a fascinating little system. Anyway, I won't set it recording. It was just a blank disc. I just wanted to see, because I hadn't even looked at it myself. I only pulled it apart quickly when I first got it. I've only had this unit about a week. So I really just wanted to check it out, make sure it worked alright and everything was good. So you can see blank disc on there. So, yeah, 